Yeah. Okay. Um, let's call this meeting to order. It's a meeting of the town board for a budget workshop and a few other items that we need to address. So there are three of us here, and we that's a quorum, and so we will start. And we might as well rise to see. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. So, um, we're missing two town councilors. Um, hopefully, they'll help me along, guys, and I'm not going to hold up the meeting for that. So, um, Really, the first order of business is, is we need to make um, a motion to go into the executive session um, to discuss um, two things uh, the medical, financial, credit, or employment history of particular persons or corporations for matters leading to the appointment, employment, promotion, demotion, suspension, dismissal, or removal of particular persons or corporations and also to discuss proposed pending or current litigation. So um, I would make a motion that we um, adjourn um, to executive session. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. So if we could just mute those, we will step out of the room. Go into our assessors.
So we need to make a piece of paper. Okay, it looks like you have volume again. Okay, so I'm going to make a motion to come back into regular session. All right, I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And James is not here, but he'll be back in a minute. Uh, motion carried. Okay. Do you want to make a motion? Yes. I would like to make a motion that we hire FJ Pompo. Additional upon getting the proper software for accounting and financing services based on their proposal in September 15, 2019. With accounting and payroll services, right? Yes. Okay. I think we've already seconded it. Oh, but you can both second it. I just had the title for this. Yeah, and you no, did I'm too. Sorry. Okay. So is we there any lots of seconds? Is there any discussion? No? You don't want to share anything? Okay. No. Okay. We can. That's why I was. I, I mean, we we did get several proposals, total yeah. three, um, and um, this seemed to be the one for all of our concerns. I would say he's a Pompey resident, which I think is a bonus taxpayer. So that's getting the game as far as Pompey is concerned. Yeah, I, based on the proposal I saw, there's, the firm goes back to 1970. He's got a number of employees and uh, first ability and repeatability uh, based on ongoing concerns that if something happens to somebody, we have it covered. And um, he, he has experience with other towns and other municipalities and auditing and 17 years of experience. So uh, the only thing I would Say we should clarify that we are hiring the company with the, the so it's Jay Pompo and company with the expectation based on the proposal. FJ Pompo and company FJ, PC. From the proposal that he submitted, which was September 15th, uh, the expectation is that the Jim Pompo Jr. would be our, our person. Our person. So I just want to make that clear for the moment. But other than that, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, I would say this is effective. We should have made it an effective date, shouldn't we? I would imagine it's effective January 1. January 1. And um, we will figure out transition between uh, then and now and then. Yeah, we can. Well, you hopefully you'll have more information next week. And um, as you're checking on the uh, software, software, we're going to need to purchase software, and that's a budget issue that we'll address. We'll go through the budget, but we do need to purchase software, so we'll need to have a conversation with the software company to get a proposal. There aren't that many municipal finance software programs out there. Um, that are recognized by New York State. That are recognized by New York State. So, um, okay. Um, so, um, and I just want to thank you, Bill, for all your hard work on um, getting, you know, taking the, sort of taking the lead on this and doing all the work and gathering all the proposals and talking to everyone. So, appreciate it very much. That's okay. Oh, well, we created one. It was, it was doable. I'm not sure what those were for. That's why I didn't sign okay. one. Enjoy it. It's getting cold. I know. Oh, I know. I'll put mine on. No, I don't know. Okay. So I want to put all of this stuff down. So, Thomas. Next on your agenda is payment of the uh, vouchers. Yes, and I don't know if we're ready to do that because some of them are saying we haven't even looked at some of those. So we don't have three signatures yeah, yet. So we'll hold up on this. Okay, you're going to have to do your last budget workshop for the town of Tompey. Doesn't that make you sad? Well, we're starting our last. We're starting it. <laughs> doing it. That's right. So I... Uh, I, the explanation is that we will work off of the tentative budget, but that the packet of budget worksheets that resulted in the tentative. Detail. If you need more detail, yes. go and look at those. Yes. 
So I don't have those on the computer. That's okay. Everybody's got a copy here. And um, also in your packets, you should have the Manlius Fire Department and Pompey, and the Pompey Hill. We did get Pompey Hill. Oh, we did. Yeah. Do you have, is there a copy up there? For I can put one up there. Oh, so a um, little sticker shock when we get to the Manlius one. You might want to be interested in okay. that. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to, you, you need the show here. So. Okay. So, well, so I'm thinking since we have a few people that haven't been through this, mm -hmm. a whole lot, <laughs> we should probably go start off with a little page by page for the first couple of pages. So, so the first page in is kind of like a summary of the budget. Look a lot like what I have up on the screen there. So each one of the funds is listed out and we budget by fund. So we have general townwide, highway townwide, and then a slew of specials. And each one of them is set up so that the first column is appropriation. So this is the total spending that you're going to be asked to approve. The next column over is estimated revenue. So that is funds that we expect to come in outside of taxes to help offset some of our budget. And then the next item is an expended balance. So those are funds that were left when we closed the books previous years, and they also will include some funds that we might be rolling forward from this year because we're not gonna get to the projects. That results in the amount to be raised by taxes. And then I also give you a comparison to the amount that we raised last year by taxes <coughs> and a percentage of change for you. And so that'll carry all the way down through and it'll also, you know, gives you a quick summary of everything there. So the first page of that, you know, has a, the general and the highway are our big ones that we have control over. We'll see some other big numbers like Manlius, Delphi, Pompey, I do have that number, so that'll show up later. The next page has all of the little drainage districts and the SOX district. And SOTS for the new ones is our fresh pickup system. Oh, so they're not a dog a trash service. Yeah. Awesome. And then at the bottom of that page is the tax gap calculation. So this is what we get from New York State. And so the first one is real property taxes from the prior year. So that the things that are excluded from that are Pompey Hills fight taxes and also um I think that's the only one. And then we have what's called a tax base growth factor. So that's a multiplier. One, it gives it the one, and then um, the 0, 0, 0014 means that it, our town growth was 0.14%. That's new growth. In other words, new building or added buildings or something like that. Uh, we currently don't have any pilots expected. Uh, we didn't have any last year. We don't have any expected for this year. Available levy growth factor is our 2% tax gap. 1.02 is the multiplier. That gives us a adjusted tax levy limit of 3,512,837.98. We were also under the tax gap last year, and so we get to retain a portion of that and roll it forward for this year. And that helps us with our 2% going forward. So our, to stay under the tax gap, we need to be at 3,565,450.98. And currently, since it's a positive number, we're 155,577 over the tax cap limit. So <laughs> that's, that's our, our challenge at this point. And that includes everything that we already have on the subsequent pages in this. Everything that's in this particular rendering. Yeah. Okay. There'll be, and this is where the work gets done. That's why this is a workshop because you need to go through line by line. We need to approve the, the lines. And then if, if we want to get under that magic tax cap, we need to figure out how to reduce, how to find 155 to cut. So now I'm going to have you go to the last page in the packet.
This has a whole bunch of little boxes and stuff. So this is our exemption summary. So the, it's required by the state that we make this part of our budget. So what it does is it tells us how much each one of these exemptions are worth and also gives us a percentage of our budget that is tax exempt. So if you go to the very bottom corner, 59,772,359 is exempt and there's 942 exemptions that make that up or 6.7% of our total tax base is exempt. Now, some of the big ones are up at the top, you'll see New York State. So there's two properties that New York State owns that worth 281,923, probably Parkland or something. County is big, 1,521,538. 10 parcels, so probably most of that is Pratt's Falls, I would guess. Town, we have 12 parcels, 1,392. Um, but if you wanna see the really big ones, if you go down most, uh, about two thirds down, you'll see Agricultural District, 359, 21,385,40. Well, that's probably where the biggest ones are. Our biggest exemptions are for the egg district. But can I ask? But why is it? This is what it is, right? There's nothing. I mean, it's yeah. That's it's not really anything. Than, but just to make you aware, yeah, the state requires us to report it. <laughs> oh, report it as part of our budget. Yes. And if we flip one more page back from that one, hey Tom, can I ask you a quick question on the? All that X war period, I mean, they're the numbers as a percentage aren't all that big, but they're in the millions. Yeah, what is that? So we have any um anybody that's been a veteran gets to apply for certain veterans exemptions based on which part of the war they were in. So uh, we'd have to ask the assessor exactly which war periods each one of those represent. Yeah. But I'm expecting that, like the one that's 110, is probably either World War II or maybe Vietnam, because those are the only ones that are really would have a ton of veterans left in them. Does the exemption go with the property or go with the person? Goes with the person. Yep. And hopefully the assessor stays up on top of that when the person passes. The, the exemption is supposed to go away. The same thing for the age and everything else, too, right? Yep, the age ones are the similar thing. Yep. But these don't include anything like your star exemptions or anything like that for the school district. We're outside of our jurisdiction board, yeah. So the next page is a quick summary of where we come up with our fund balance, the amount that I said we're going to reduce taxes for. Yeah. So the first line is what was left when we closed the books at the last year or what was available the first of the year. Back, right? Yeah. Yep, stuck it in from the back. Yep, I was raised by. Yeah, it's got big numbers, easy to read. Thank you. <laughs> um, so then I usually use 731 because I know I always have the July report closed, even when people are starting to look at budget stuff. So I use that. It's also halfway into the year for a lot of the, the lines. Gives us a good idea of expenditures, uh, revenues get added, expenditures get subtracted, shows us where we're at partway through the year. And then we have our projected revenues, and those I take what's outstanding on that report and look at things that I know are coming in. Like I, we know that we have the second half of our mortgage tax. We have a lot of big revenue items still coming in there. And then I estimate worst case scenario, what we're gonna spend to the end of the year. If there's something I know we're not spending, I don't include it in it. And then I take um, what I guess would be about the maximum we can go for appropriation of that fund balance. I wanna leave enough in those fund balances that we cover all the bills for January and part of February, because we have a very early February meeting before our taxes start coming in. So we have some big bills in the beginning of the year, like retirement and stuff that's between general and highway is, that's due February 1st, it's like $70,000 almost. So I try to make sure those are in there. Of course, this is worst case scenario, but you're usually better budgeting for worst case scenario just in case something happens bad at the end of the year. We're still a long ways from there. Tom, just remind me. So 
You said they appropriated for next year's budget. So for general fund, it's 463 and change. Yes. The highway, it's 258 and change. So yep. where does that, where on, in the earlier parts, where is that reflected? So if you go back to page one. Yeah. Right, the center count, dead center says okay. less on expended balance. Those okay. three numbers match. All right. I don't do a summary for all of your little water districts and sewer districts. I just put them on that page. Yeah, no, I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to see where it. We're actually not required to do it for highway either, according to the state comptroller, but I do it for highway because it's big bucks. And I want, want everybody to be aware of it. Yeah. And so if we flip one more page back in, this is the page that usually we spend the most time on and makes the least bit of difference to our big picture of our budget. Can I, can I just take a step back for a second? So we have the estimated balance for the end of the year, right? 512. Mm -hmm. for next year. So that 463, is that the, the same thing as like carryover or not? Yes, yeah, so it's basically what was left that we didn't anticipate spending. It doesn't election. coincide with carryover on TB1A, the 52613, right? Those are not the same number. It doesn't change. Which page are you on? Oh, I'm just I'm looking at this TB1A, the the overall thing. Okay. okay. So you mean the very total at the very bottom? Yeah. 726? No, but if you go to TB1. The first two columns match that last that sheet that we're talking about. So the first two rows. So we also have a whole bunch of little ones that add up to some more funds, and that's why it doesn't match up. It's close though. So that that total on TV one A includes the first two lines on one, and then all the rest. All the other little yeah. ones. So that's why the first two lines together are already. Oh, oh, That's the majority of it. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want your next accountant to do a, a, a fund by fund summary like that, you can have him do that. <laughs> You'd like to worry about where those hundred and fifties come from. <laughs> Did you get the fire district or the Poppy Hill? Yeah, okay. This is TV one. Okay. One, yeah. I just talked about the manliest fire went up 7.45 and 12 on Delphi Falls percent. Yep. What, what, what reason did they go up so much? Okay. So if you go to, well, you won't have manliest in there, but if you go to this packet here, okay. That's the one I emailed you over the weekend. And Delphi Falls is on page 33, so it should be pretty easy. It should be right at the end. Okay. So on this page, it, it indicates their operating contract. They'd like to go from 144,000 to 165,000. Doesn't really give us much detail on why it's going up, but I suspect most of it is probably energy and insurance. Is your children? No, the list. I hear the same thing from 144 oh, gotcha. to 165. Okay. I got you. All right. It looks like they, they're keeping their truck payments at the same level, and the workers' comp it hasn't hit the 14,000 yet, so they didn't know right. that either. The manliest one is in your pile there. Renee gave. I gave it. It's in your. I just I added it to everybody's pile earlier, and it looks like this. It's their format, not ours. Okay. And so this is just their summary. This is like their page one of it. Do you want to explain it? Yep, I can. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'd love you too. All right, so what they do is we have two contracts with them. We have fire and ambulance contracts. Yep. And so they break it up by that. They show what the departmental budgets are for each one of those and then total them. How much is employee benefits? How much is their debt service? In other words, how much the borrowing is. Then they give up total appropriations. And then they do similar to what we do. They estimate their revenues coming in. 
and fire is a lot lower than EMS because EMS collects on all of their, their carries. They get reimbursed by Medicare or health insurance. So the same billing. And then that gives their net for the total thing. Now in this, the next box down tries to equalize the payments between the three groups that are using them, the Village of Manlius, Town of Manlius, and Town of Ponzi. So what they do is they take the current assessments, and I didn't check to make sure that was our rate assessment. Let me just please can hold up for a second while I take it before. 3015. Yeah. Are they getting that number of town of Ponzi full value assessment? I think it's because we're only at 78 equalization, so they put up to 100. Yeah, but I, I don't know where the 309 is coming from. Our value is 650,000. Oh, they're using just that district. Okay, yeah, I get that makes sense. 301, yeah, it's close. Yep. So then they try to equalize it, which makes sense. You, you just take that 309, and divided by 78%, they give you the 396, 374, 185. And they take round, give the rounding percentages. And then from there, they come up with the tax rates for everybody. And while they try to keep the, ta the tax rates are the same, they work backwards into coming up with how much everybody pays for it. So if I'm reading this right, this is like we just got this today. Yeah. So they are saying that I, yeah. our amount for 2023 would be $774,080. Yeah. Um, and I'll bring it up on the screen here so you can see what it does. My concern is that we 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 were at 632.862 last year, if you go look at that. So it's up on the screen there. It's it's 22.31% increase. And I also have Pompey in here too. So I don't know. Now I talked to the mayor of Manlius, the village, today. Yeah. Um, because we didn't have this. So he sent this. And when I saw it, it's like, that's a big number. So I was like, why the jump? So I asked him to send me the budget. It's a big building. Yeah. Yeah. So there is yeah. I'm sure that is. Oh, yeah. So um, that service. I sent, I asked him to share the actual breakdown of the budget. Which you want to I'm asking by her. And because um, I said, I know my board of line, that's an enormous increase that the board is going to be interested in. Yeah. This is a response I got. He said, I don't believe the EMS is a true number that we've got here. Um, his, is Martha his, Mars is like the off or the office bill, the village administrator. Okay, so she anticipated the request we received from the fire chief to add four more EMS staff, and at this time, their village board has denied that request. That in, I, apparently this number includes that the four additional the four additionals. So this I, may have been their preliminary budget or their tentative budget. All he said was, I can't tell you what she added until she returns from vacation. She's on vacation this week. That budget I sent you was what she had just completed for our benefit to see where we would be. So he's willing also to like, come and explain the whole Manlius Fire District budget, which I think, depending on what we see from him when Martha gets back, um, it might be a good idea because that that is an enormous and, and the whole town doesn't pay for it. It's just the people in the fire district. But you know, it, but it says it's a, this was their adapted budget. It says adapted budget for twenty six twenty two. I know. They've already that mean it's not negotiable. Well, yeah, they're already into this budget. But if they've made budget adjustments and cut things out of their budget, then we shouldn't be paying for things that they're not going to provide a service. For. Well, again, that's our only hope that we're going down. Right. right. I mean, that number is enormous. I, I don't know if you've ever seen it increase that much. I've only no, no. I, I estimated it increasing like it's been for the last three years, and still is pretty bad. The amount raised in the manliest example is six hundred thirty-two thousand. They're saying that amount raised prior year amount raised by tax. That was this year's amount. That was this year's. 
then the taxes that we can raise um, to offset that is 679. Is that, am I reading that right? And you want to be one. 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 what we would have to reach, correct? Yeah. yeah to be, but it's an increase of 22% of the weight of the match. Right. Well, how do they put percent changes 7.4? Because what we raised this year was the 632, 862. Oh, okay. And so I just try to give you an idea of the, the change from year to year. The actual increase in cost was 22%. And that, yeah. So we have to, I don't think we, I don't know how this works with them because they, they pass their budget. So we don't get a say. Right. Unless you passed prior to ours. It's like it's adopted in April. So what's their fiscal year? May to April? Uh, no, it would be um, June 1st to May 3rd. Oh, June. Okay. So unless people in that fire district, no to go to the village of Manlius budget process back in that time of year, right. there's no input from, from our town residents that are right. affected by that. Is that everybody in the north end of the town? Yes, I take it? yes, yes, yes. Pretty much. Well, we might as well just move on. Might okay. as well. I mean, there's no sense in going. We, right. we, we can't we can. that. Mm -hmm. well, well, we, we need an explanation. We need oh, an yeah, explanation. No, He's yeah. willing to come and talk to us. We'll figure that out later as, as far as when that happens. Yeah. If you need it. Yeah. 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 He did explain to me the difficulty right now in the EMS world with um, the mutual aid. Well, the mutual aid and um, but they've been having to respond all over the place. Um, mutual aid means that if the closest available ambulance goes, so if they're the closest, it could be, and like he was saying, there's an accident in Tully they went to, he claimed, he said, so, because um, they were the closest available at the time. Um, but he said what's happening is they get to the hospital ER with um, somebody in their ambulance and they're waiting hours at the ER with some a patient inside to get them either admitted in the, or into the ER to be treated. And while they're there, as they're leaving, there's a they're, they become the closest available and they could end up in the city of Syracuse and they've been out to OCC and they they end up. They, it's it's not a good situation right now for the EMS crews and a lot of the ambulance crews are struggling financially. Holly has actually ended up in Oswego County a couple of times because they were dropping off that they were diverted to Oswego yeah. Hospital and then they were the closest and they ended up going almost up to the lake. Oh. Well, and, and it was, it, 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 he was using as another example that they got called to OCC for somebody, with a student who was choking. And they were 20, 20 minutes or 20 miles away. I forget which. And I said, that's absurd that you were the closest available. Either that person is going to have resolved the choking or they're going to be dead by the time you get to. It's a, not a good situation. So he was explaining that as somehow factoring in here. I, I, but we I have to hear it. Yeah, yeah, the business who want to spend that kind of money. It just it doesn't matter. We will, you're right, Bill. We, we'll find out and then we'll. Okay. okay, so the page I'm looking at is EB16. It's our salary page. Yep. And if we go through this page, it, it saves a whole bunch of minor lines that we're going to get through this page. So the first, what I usually do is I look for three positives to, that we're happy with us and move on. Um, so the supervisor requested no increase. Good. Okay. Town board members requested no increase. Okay. okay. We need three. Somebody else. Okay. Has okay. <laughs> say okay. Justices also asked for no increase. Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Town clerk asked for no increase. Okay. Okay. Um, tax collector, no increase. First one with an increase is assessor. Yeah. Thirty-four thousand three hundred.
And we've got a lot of support for that. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes. Next one is highway superintendent. 72100. You want us to talk about what we're doing? I need to know so I can put it in the budget. Yeah, we're going to keep it the same salary as last year. Okay. So seventy thousand seven fifty is yes. our new yes. number there. Yes. <laughs> All right, clerk one for the garage. That is your our um, highway clerk. Oh, Increase no. of a dollar per hour and additional hours. Twelve thousand five hundred. Next. Next. Twelve thousand five hundred. And how about a salary rate? Sixteen. So it will be fifteen hours a week. Yes. She's the man. Okay. Uh, next item is highway staff. We are in negotiations. So I just put in, we talked about it, we put in a 2% in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's the number for the, can we just, just a second, Tom? It, it comes out to 12,480. So 12, five is seven. Okay, historian did not ask for an increase. Yes. Yes. Okay. Code enforcement officer would like to go from an hourly salary of $35 per hour to a annual salary of $40,000. Uh, 36,600 36. hourly would be $37 an hour, 19 hours. Thirty-six six. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I just want to make sure I yes. said it right. Oops, I didn't, I didn't type in right though. Okay, deputy code enforcement officer. Five dollars per hour at seven hours per week. Right? I have a question about that. What was it this year? The number of hours wasn't it ten? We didn't have this position. No, but when we hired, what, what when we hired in May, or wasn't the expectation to be ten hours a week? Yeah, I don't. I, we'd have to look at the board minutes for that. Yeah, that's good number. We want yeah. to keep it the same as last year. So ninety eight sixty. Right. Yeah. Yes. This good mm -hmm. number at twenty. Well, the nine eight sixty was actually for was the clerk salary, and we transferred that over and made that into the code's so, office. So that wasn't correct. Right? Oh, well, it wasn't really a, a. I don't think that was actually a real number. So it's a ninety one hundred then. We stick with that. Yes. Let me grab my. I'm going to grab last year's budget and verify that. So the code enforcement officer last year. You're right. We had 35000 in there for that at $35 per hour. And we had a code enforcement clerk at 3900 at $15 per hour. So we eliminated that position. So I just took the funds that were left and moved them around to cover that. So is that why it's seven hours a week? Because that's what it... Because that works backwards. Then. Yeah, it works backwards for that. So the 9100, yes. I think that might not be enough, so that's my only thing. You want me to see what he's been working? Yes, I am i didn't have a chance to check it, but I was wondering. I could have looked it up. It. And you did you get the timesheets in your box? I did, for two of them. We're still waiting on the clerk. I know. Thanks. He did a worksheet, right? Or not? Tim did, barely. And what he came up with. Well, I think, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I think he, he used the same. Those were Tim's, Tim's request there, yeah. the $25 at 9100 I think he just carried it over from this, this past year. Oh, well, May? Yeah. So May, he had 23 and a half hours, then he had 39 in the third, then he had 49 hours in July, and he was at 30 hours in August. So Say that again, 23. 23 and a half, 39 and the third, 49 hours, and then 30 hours. So 
on average, it's probably 30 hours per month. So yeah, 6.9 hours okay. per month. Yeah, but, I mean, the seven, seven. is probably All pretty right. accurate. Right. I just don't want to not have enough. So what are we keeping at 91? Okay. Okay, let me close this. Okay, next item is uh, the zoning clerk one. So this is our new hire. We have no history or any expectations on this. Are we going to keep the $15 per hour? New York State is currently at $13.20, so they're going to go to $13.90 next year, probably. They asked. So keep it at the $15, or do we want to make it $16 the same as the clerk? Oh, wait, yeah, but we didn't we didn't change the the town clerk deputy either. So I guess you got two different rates for different people. We used to do them all at the same rate for years. Hmm. I would think that if you wanted to make the deputy town clerk 16, you wouldn't have to change the dollar amount because she's not, she never worked that many hours. I would move the the town clerk deputy to $16 an hour. Yes. And you know, we're we're usually under that line. And then do the same thing with the zoning and planning clerk hours. Put them at sixteen. You mean? Yeah. So everybody's at the yeah, same yeah. rate. If we're doing sixteen. I don't think. Know, yeah, I think math everyone works out. It's just going to reduce the hours. Right. And given how much zoning meets, that's probably. It's probably more than we need. <laughs> yeah. But we, well, we can always you can always move money back and forth between those two accounts. All right, the next one, budget officer is going to zero, obviously. And then SWIM, um, she didn't ask for an increase for herself, but she did ask, uh, since we know the minimum wage is probably going up 70 cents, she increased everybody else accordingly within the staff. Okay. All right, which page is done? Do we want to do the highway budget and let BR skate, or do we want to start the general budget and keep them here all night? Well, let's look. No, I, let's look I, here. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we talked about that earlier today. We weren't sure which way to go, but I think given how long we were, I think mean, you're going to make them stay. All right, let's start yeah. with page two then. Let's, let's really torture them. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> highway budget is on page 27. I think this is going to be the more difficult one to work out anyway. Other than there. So I'll start running through the yard, jump in when I'm rolling. <laughs> so the first one, general repairs, personal services. This is the work that's done during the summer, basically May through October. So we, we basically do two different lines or two different areas. One is summer, one's winter. So that's just the 2% that we talked about. <clears throat> the um, contractual, that is all of the stuff that isn't capital improvements that New York State reimburses us for, which is the next line improvements. You've heard me talk about chips, paved New York, stream winter recovery. That's all long-term work that the state helps reimburse us for. Which line are you on now? You said improvements. improvements. Okay. I'm just telling you what improvements are. Oh, 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 all sorry. of the road work that he does all summer, all the fuel that yeah. goes into the machines, the pipes, the gravel, um, all the stuff that he does during the summer comes out of the 285,000. Any more detail you'd like on that, or I'm just still confused. You said improvements, so are you talking about the the next category? The next category is improvements. You yeah. said 285, which is the contractual expense up right. above. So both of those numbers added together is work that gets done on the town roads, oh, oh, oh. materials, and okay. stuff to get the roads done. So combined, you combine the 161 plus the 285. We also usually get some boost from the Pave New York, Stream Winter Recovery, and those kind of programs, but we don't budget for those because those are very iffy whether you're going to get them every year. But the chips is pretty solid, so at least we know something to get started with every year. 
So BR, why don't you tell them a little bit about why you wanted to boost that up five thousand dollars from two hundred eighty to two eighty five? Well, that was we're running the budget pretty close to the way the expenses are this past summer. We wanted to raise it a little bit just to cover because we had to cut back on road work this year quite a bit just because of the expenses. Like fuel expense, that kind of stuff? Well, the, the actual oil that you're putting down on the roads, you know, the storm and everything's just gone way out of sight. That's 2% right, that's exactly. Yeah. What it looks like. Okay. The chips number um, matches the revenue down below. You'll see count consolidated highway aid. So it's a, it's a net wash. We don't do the work, we don't get paid. Um, if we do the work, we do get paid. The next area is the machinery. And I made some adjustments up here on the screen. If you want to take a quick look up here, I added another line because we, the sweeper um, is the main piece that we really need to start with. Uh, why don't you tell them what the sweeper does, BR? Did you give everybody the, the parish cost on that sweeper, Renee? No. The sweeper is what we use. Wait a minute, did you give, did you leave them with? Yeah, you get, I see. I can't copy them. No, that's, no, that's just the equipment list. You see where, where, I thought you took those back. No, you had them. No. But anyway, the sweeper runs basically from May till it's still going. It's the machine that goes out, out all the catch stations, which we have to do for the MS4, obviously. And then after we've done the oil and stone, it sweeps all the loose stone up, we put it back in a pile. And then uh, we take them and get them rewashed. But the sweeper is basically going nonstop. Is that the road cleaner too? And it's an 06. Yep. Road it's cleaner. It's a white boxy looking it's thing. White yeah. boxy thing. Yep. Um, the right. other thing I put in your folders, there's a equipment description list. It's a sort of like the inventory of, of what's in your highway. Derive some of it we have replaced because this was a list that Tom Purcell put together, but it's a great resource because it will show you the ages and right. I mean some of these things are so ancient. Number 22. But, yeah. Number 22 yeah, is talking about the ages. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Ian. What's the average useful life here on something like that? Oh, no. And kind of got a pretty slide that was still going when it came in to give me a vote on it. Oh, really? So we've done really good on that piece. Okay. But, you know, 10 years probably is is a good uh, useful life for that probably. Okay. So what what's the, the condition? Repairs? Yeah, where have yeah. the repairs been? Seeing how we don't have them, what have they been? You know? Well, year to, year to date since it's, it's over 50 grand. Over the and it's in, the, you told me this year it's, it's more really in the slow. shop than it's on the road. It's full of electrical. It's really starting to go. Well, it's got a lot of electrical issues that we battle with on a daily basis. So you're saying it's gonna be 280 grand. So it's 292, I think, to cool. That's a 292. Yeah. So we rounded up to 300,000 because there's been a lot of um, cost escalations. They they're allowed under these county contracts yep. and state contracts to have cost of steel escalations. Right. So it's I'm, if I'm reading this right, it's 280 for 25 and 26. Well, don't go by. So oh, okay. this was Tom's. Yeah, okay, I got you. But it, so I'm the sweeper, it. when do you think we'll take delivery of the sweeper? Well, if we buy it through and we can have it like six, eight months. Okay. Six, eight months from today. So no, right. six, eight months from November when you approve the budget is the first time you can order it. Yeah, okay, gotcha. November. So what's that put us at? Next June, July. So you'd have to start next year with the old sleeper. Probably. Now, what's that sleeper worth, worth, worth for trading or anything? We know that. Or you did pretty well last time. Yeah. Get something out of it. I don't know if we'll do it like we did last time. <laughs> I'm not sure, James. I'd have to get an estimate. So if you sell you or something, 50 grand this year alone. No, no, that's from the time we bought it. Oh, from the time you oh, bought it. Okay. okay, sorry. So, <clears throat> okay, gotcha. 
much this year. Do you know how much it was been this year? I don't have it broke down. Maybe 2,600 actually. Maybe I did look at that. I can't find that sheet. I thought I left it with your name. I know. I, I, I can't. I, I have the highway budget here and I don't see it. Yeah. You always need brushes every year for it. Well, those kind of things. Two, three. The wearable things. Two, three times they get changed a year. Yeah. They're not cheap. We own that resilience. We own that. Well, the brushes will have to be changed. Even on a new one, they're going to be changed regularly. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, that was a demo when they bought I'm it. Go see it. It's in my office. I'm sorry. I thought I. I'm going to jump ahead to something more. Yep. So the highway in obviously is a big number that was down relative to previous year. What is that? Down? Highway in. Okay, that's what I was just explaining that we only budget for the chips portion of it. We also get Pave New York, Extreme Winter Recovery, and a new one called Pave Our Potholes. And so those are numbers that are variable every year. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. So that's why I don't bother them. Yeah. And also, oh, so there is a chance. There's a good the chance it will be more at the two over two hundred thousand. Yeah, but you have to spend the money to get the money. Correct. And well, first you have to be authorized to spend the money by the state. Okay. Maybe and so even the chips money, he can't spend. Or you need to spend what we're budgeting and we may get it. I mean, it's only on one side of the Yeah, I think it's Tom, I don't know the answer to that question. So the way it works is when the state adopts their budget in April, yeah. they send out a letter stating how much is available for chips. And then if pay right potholes, all the other programs are available. Renee's. When we get that information, you we then do a budget in. authorization to spend that additional anticipated revenue. Yeah. I mean, if right. you want, in we could words, we can put in the number. We balance the budget. Try to stay under two percent. If we this can. doesn't have anything to do with your budget, with your taxes. It has nothing to do with it because it's a revenue and an expenditure in the same dollar. Okay. So you could put nothing in there. We put nothing in the revenues. It wouldn't make a damn bit of difference with your two percent tax gap. So we've got other equipment on here too. So the next piece of equipment are, is yeah, are well. Are we done with the sweeper? Well, I. Well, the, what'd you put in for the sweeper? It kept us three hundred thousand. Do you want to alter it down? I'm trying to look. That's at your um, Should we budget the delta between what you think it's going to cost and what we might get for? Uh, well, what we would do is we would put in a revenue for sale of equipment. Well, that what, what if we have a number that we know that we think we're going to get for it? Oh yeah. Down at the bottom, we would put in sale of equipment, and we put the amount. If we're going to trade it in, which doesn't sound like we're going to do that, right? Probably not. So the auction. We'll, we'll auction it. So we would put in a conservative number there. All right. I can get an estimate on that. Yeah. It sounds like, you know, conservatively 300 is the right number yeah, to carry. I think so too. And then if we get the upside on a sale or consignment or whatever you want to call it, then we'll just offset it. Below. Okay. Yep. Is that something? Uh, I'm, I'm just looking, you know, I'm looking at if more lines of equipment here. Lots of I take them one at a time. I'm looking at one at a time. I'm looking at all of them. Okay. I'm sorry. It's the farmer in me. It's like, no, but, you know. I'm just saying, take them one at a time and then go, and then go back. All right. Good enough. You know, you just get yep. an idea of what yep. each is yep. about. I'm going to get just the sweeper. So we're on to the snowplow. So the snowplow is estimated to be the total purchase cost of a whole package at 400000 BR would like to reduce that to 217,000 and only budget for the cab and chassis unit that's going to take up to a year to get into get here. If we if we give them your project 2024. So if we if we give them a, a letter of intent yeah. to hold the spot for a truck right. after we pass this budget, we still will not see that truck. Till 2024, the first quarter of 2024. That's just so the, cab, that's the cabin chassis, too. 
So if we just budget that 217 price just for the cabin chassis, next year we can budget for the equipment. The rest of the for the remaining and year. then when it's when we when it's actually available, we'll have the money. Yes. Right. We're going to budget the additional hundred and ninety thousand that we'll probably need for the all the other equipment in next year's budget. So we'll actually see a little bit of a decrease gotcha. in our total spending because sounds like a smart move. It's called planning Good for idea. the future. Good idea. Just out of curiosity, why do we have four hundred in there in the first place, knowing that you might do that? Because when we had our budget workshop with A and BR, we didn't know that we oh, wanted okay. to do that. So what was the number? What were the numbers again? Two hundred and seventeen thousand. And then what? When do we? So we order this. When is this payable? In you don't, well, you don't pay for this until you receive it. All right. So you're talking first quarter of twenty twenty four. Gotcha. And then we'll put this. We'll get it budgeted this year. Comes next year. We'll, we'll show it as an accrual at the end of the year. We'll show it as an accrual at the end of twenty twenty three. That okay. it's money that's. We've already gotcha. ordered it, so it's already spoken for. All right. We'll just carry it forward and let it keep earning interest for it until we get the vehicle in. Yeah. All right. And then, so the cabin chassis that I learned is the front part. It's the base truck, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the Very rest close. of it, what goes behind it, is what would be paid for in 2024. Well, everything that's going to go on it. On it. The snow plow. And is there a Your delay in getting that paid? also? You know, next year it comes. That to shouldn't be. Too, that's not. It's a not a problem. No. No. Well, especially if it's we time we time. get going at it early. You know, <clears throat> we should get. I mean, you've already got the specs. Yeah. So. So, can, so do we? Can we place the order for both at the same time? No. No, you can't have the money allocated. Yes. In order to, to, to okay. So, you can. The letter of intent we talked about was for the cabin chassis. Yes. And once we. Once we adopt the, adopt budget, the budget in November, we can send that letter of intent in to secure our the cabin so chassis at the price. Secure to build. The build. Yep. And same thing with the sweeper. Once we adopt the budget, we can send in the letter of intent to purchase the sweeper. Okay. So, so so just so you know goes away. The ash cash. What's that? Now will you get rid of one of these plows on this equipment list? That one's going to replace truck two. No, he said the ash cash is never going away. No, that's, that's the one that always went Thirty-two year ash cash. Is it? Yeah. Everybody holds on to their ash cash. So I bet you every one of my towns almost has an ash cash. How do we get another? One? You don't. They don't make none more. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Don't okay. need one of those. <laughs> If some other town decides to part with their 30-year-old truck, then you get another one. <laughs> Farmers love them, too. I mean, yes. <laughs> you know how we were saying at the beginning that we have, we're over the tax? Mm -hmm. This will help. Oh, yeah. This will help. It's not yeah. going to help totally because we have this reserve fund. We have it really help. helped us until we got to the, uh, <laughs> we got the manliest fire, <laughs> an ambulance. So then there is one more item. We couldn't order the pickup truck. And so this year we had budgeted to purchase a pickup truck using our ARPA funds. So we're not going to be using $43,000 in ARPA funds. So we're going to put the pickup back on next year and we're going to show that we're going to use the ARPA funds next year. So it's basically a, a no change to our budget. Okay. And so those are the main pieces of equipment. So the next item, the 95000 is to keep all of the machinery running. So BR, you may want to tell them about some of the things. You got challenges there. Well, when they first came on, one of the little internationals went in, and that was close to 10000 right there for one repair. And we've had several of those, unfortunately, this year. And we just burned through that. Line. And, and and there's still a lot of a lot of over equipment that needs lots of repairs. And hopefully we're trying to turn that over, but it's gonna take us a while to get there. Yeah. We're not there yet. No. Just a general question. Do we have a plan for um planned obsolescence of this equipment as we move forward? Renee and I have been talking. We're trying to find somebody. We need a consultant. A consultant. Somebody, somebody to sit down with us yeah. and give us a really good idea of okay. the best that's way to approach this. Yeah. So our what I mean? Because it's going to be a lot of money. But I think if you, if 
the taxpayers in general understood that the highway garage in the town we haven't spent a lot of money in that department in quite a long time. Yep. That's uh, it's it's something been, everybody needs yeah, to understand. It's just been sporadic spending, like at the eleventh hour when it absolutely has to be replaced, yep. and then there's no plan. There's been nothing saved for like when the useful life is when something's in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, life. so yep. you can talk to, to your liaison. He's good at that. <laughs> I nominate Bill, liaison, master. All right, let's go. <laughs> so the next item is snow removal highway, and then there's snow removal other governments. So we'll start with other governments because that's quick to explain. So we got a salary portion of it. We've got our contractual with salt, sand, fuel, um, dispendable things like plow blades and skids and that kind of stuff is 161.294. That matches the first thing down below under services for other government's revenue. So we always kind of track that together. Those two items match up. Snow removal town highways is for everything else in the town. So um, 234,000, of course, is a 2% increase that we talked about. And then asking for another 4,000 in the contractual for salt, sand, and all those types of things. Now, salt was going down, but now it went back up again, right? Yep. And sand used to cost us four dollars, and I think it's eleven dollars for delivered yeah, sand it's now. Eleven, eleven dollars. Wow. That's for and the portable fuels in there too. Fuel goes in there too. Yes. And we try to spend all the county money first, so that's why you see that the county money looks like it hits the whole budget, and there's not quite as much in contractual up above. It's just what we've always done is. Make sure we show the county that we're spending the money. <laughs> Plus it offsets having to spend town money. Right. So that's where those numbers come from. Employee benefits, you'll see that New York State retirement dropped significantly. That's because their year that we're paying on ended in April of 2022 before we got beat up in the stock market because all of their stuff is stock-based. So you'll expect to see 42 or 52 maybe next year in that first line. Uh, Social Security is based on the salaries. Disability is pretty stable. And hospital and medical, I think I included in your packet a breakdown of where I came up with those numbers based on what we're doing now. Um, we did pay off this year. The I just mailed out today the final payment on the Gulf Road project wow. that we were bonding for. So those are all going to zero. That helped us offset some of this equipment purchases. Nice. And the next, the last item there is transfer to reserve. Um, we had 115,000 in the budget this year. Uh, we reduced that to 93,000 because we needed to add some more money in for one of the vehicles that came in this year. So my feeling is we should be putting some money into that reserve. Is there a standard rule of thumb, Tom? There was not. Most, a lot of towns have no money in there, don't have a reserve for highway equipment. Yeah, I think there's limits on how much you can put in there, but I, we're not in that boat, so. Yeah. Well. I think school districts, just as a point of reference, and I have to check, but I think it's two to 4% of their budget, maybe. maybe in a real one. Yeah. Those are for Transfer. capital improvements. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't have that limit because, you know, our budgets are so small that 4% doesn't help you a whole lot. Which is also the problem when you need to buy something because it's a big item. Um, so right now our reserve for the highway department only has 26,000 in it, almost 27. And we're gonna add 93,000 to that if we don't have to tap it again for other problems. That's why I don't transfer it till the end of the year. So if we don't have any problems, then we'll end up with almost 120 grand in there. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't help us much. So should we put in, I mean, I know we were talking earlier today about that, about 80,000, which would get us up to 200 in the reserve. And that's enough to order our next cabin chassis. 
because this is a this is a little bit more expensive cabin chassis than most of them. By about forty thousand. Forty grand. grand. Yep, it's not going right. Not the not the cabin chassis we've got in the budget right now, right? Or the, what yeah. we have in the budget right now is more expensive than your than most of the rest of this plow. So we're gonna transfer money to reserve. We're gonna put money in reserve, but then we're gonna use it to pay that. No. no. Uh, we're going to use it to order our next truck. Okay, that's what I want. Not this one. No. Yeah. Okay, that's what I meant. So what we'll do is we'll put the money into the reserve. We'll do a permissive referendum authorizing the purchase of the next cabin chassis since they're going to take a year or two. Yep. And that way the money's just sitting there earning interest for us while we're waiting for them to build it. So we can put it in there and we'll see how it looks at the end. So yeah. what you guys mm -hmm. comfortable with putting 80000 in there to see if it does? Yeah. yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah, me too. We have to start planning. Yeah. It can't just be, we need this piece of equipment. How are we going to pay for it? All right, so I already went over on the revenues of local services, fuel reimbursement. We get that back from Pompey Hill and Delphi Falls for their uh, when they fill up their fire trucks. Um, yeah, do we want to talk about fuel? Talking, you have, I gave you the report. I, I got there. it right here. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to, I know Tom and I talked about it separately, and then you and I talked about it, but um, given the crazy cost of fuel, and here's th these numbers are horrible for this year compared to last year. Right. Um, we get fuel through state we're, contract. When we're 5,000 gallons less so far for this year, but spent, how much more is that, say, Renee, was it? It's 54,000. We're at 54 right now, and last year, we totally spent 40. Grand. Yeah. So um, the thought is that we should, that we should pull fuel if, to the extent that we can into a separate budget line to track it. Because I think that trying to figure out, it goes in different lines and then you can't figure out exactly what the amount is. The right. average this year, if you if you took those, the average is $3.85 a gallon, but it was up as high as $5.05 $5 right. a gallon. That was off the state contract. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, what so the thought is how many gallons are we using each year? So we figured it's it's in the eighteen thousand range. Right. Times times what? What's four the, bucks a gallon? I think you got to. I, I I don't. That's what we figured actually. Yeah. We were at three eighty five. Well, three eighty five was this year, but yeah. we were thinking we just just to give us some. But we really we really need to sort of like base it on on what we think the price is going to be. And I know that's sort of a crapshoot, but it's better than having it in different places and not really paying attention, like right. really knowing what the bottom line is. So I don't know, Tom, how can we do so that? So most likely, I think the best place to put it would probably be um, snow removal town highways and put it all in, in a new line, a contractual um, DA 5142.41. So can and then we would pull it out of the, wherever the fuel costs are in the different parts. ER has to give me then some numbers to pull it out. Okay. What's your magic number you want me to put in there? Well, the gallons. Are we good with like you said eighteen thousand? Well, if you if you did twenty thousand times four dollars a gallon, that's eighty thousand. Yes. So that that's a little high on the on the the number of gallons used, but on the other hand, and, oh, okay. and we don't, with we don't know. know. We don't know. So do you want to take twenty thousand out of each? Well, I still like to charge some of the fuel off to the snow removal for the county, no, I, but I can put a I can put a line there too, maybe. Okay. Um. So why don't we say sixty thousand on the town wide line? Eight, four, one. Why don't we put twenty thousand there? Where are you putting it on the county line? Twenty so count twenty of that. So I'm going to reduce the ninety six to seventy six, and then put a new line for twenty thousand. And then, do you want a separate line for summer work? I mean, I don't know how many lines you want here because BR is going to have to tell us which whether it's county snow plowing money or. 
Of course, I'll spend the county money first anyway. I know. But I don't know what your new accountant's going to do and how he feels about that. So I think he's going to spend the county money. I, well, I think he's going to be looking for advice from BR. So yeah. Well, in Bill. Yeah. That's right. He's the we ain't on the bill. So do you want six, just sixty thousand in the townwide so snow and then cut back on the other ones? Let's say we take twenty out of the the snow plowing, so we move that sixty three to forty three. And then take the 285 and say 40,000 during the summer, 40,000 during the winter, or do we use more fuel during the winter than the summer? Probably the winter. How much more percentage wise? Here. Oh, geez. Let me just give you this. Here, Tom, instantly figure this I out. Well, there, because otherwise I have to instantly figure it out. <laughs> I was like, it, no, it's more just looking at the gallons. So those two are the only summer. Last year. Yeah. It's at so some point if um the budgetary is what we're gonna, we're assuming prices that were based on when what's that going? Good projections for oil prices for next year. What do we use prices that were plus? Good question. If you miss ones that were from June, you know, they're down. I did an average. Did an average. I took an average of, of what from the average this year. Of 2022. Of 2022. In January, our first bill. It's going to go down. It already has. I like know. 20%. Yeah. yeah. So, well, again, I don't know if I want well, to face a budget. Right. Right, but I, well, here's what you're going to do. If if you have money left from that fuel line, VR is going to come and say, hey, I'm not going to spend all that fuel money. Would you please move it back and buy Contractual, so I can buy some more gravel and some more right. oil to stick it to the road. All right, so I'm thinking, how does this sound to everybody? Why don't we take, we want a total of 80,000. Why don't we take 15,000 out of the summer, reduce that and take 15 of that. Take 20,000 out of the county, so that's 35. And then take the rest of it out of the winter. Out of the winter town. Oh. It's just moving around. And it's right. right. That's it. So that would be 45. Yep, that one would have 45. Yeah, it is. It's just that it's, I, I really feel like we have to track it right now. The, the cost is so crazy. And, um, I was talking to some of the other towns like the supervisors meetings that are like this, everybody's sort of in the same boat, not knowing how to. Um... This one I'm not gonna do on the screen right now because this is more than just casual reprogramming. Okay. It's probably adding a whole page and moving things around in the budget, so. Those are but the total, we're keeping the totals the same. All right, so we were on fuel reimbursements. <laughs> we increase that due to the fact that fuel has been going up or the fire department's not been using a whole lot more fuel? Halfway through the year, they were at um, oh, they were at about 2,000 halfway through the year this year. That's why we bumped that up to 2,000. And then we should probably go with the right? Maybe 2,500 or three, yeah. We can go with that, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fuel and person on revenue. Yeah, that didn't help us a whole lot, but. Okay, so the other item that we're missing that we really need is the sale of equipment. We're not gonna be selling, well, we might, we'll be selling in a pickup truck, correct? No, that's been, oh, the old one. The old, yeah. The old pickup truck we'll be selling, so. We figured four grand for that last year. Yeah. So we'll carry that 4,000 forward. Yep. Plus the sweeper. And so you'll try to do a little research that. and come back to us yep. for that. Okay.
All right, so I think that's everything. I'm adding in the at the bottom there under federal aid, we're gonna go with 43,000 to match the pickup truck that we added up above. And then the unexpended balance, as you can see, that's a significant increase in our unexpended balance. We had a lot of surplus money left over last year that we probably won't have next year. So this is like one of those one in four or five years that this is gonna happen because we didn't get as much work done during COVID, it rolled forward, we didn't get as much work done last year. So you're probably not gonna have 258,000 there. So think about that because that's kind of basically offsetting most of that sweeper purchase for us. Or can we put that in the, I don't know, transfer to reserve, rainy day fund, whatever you wanna call it, planned obsolescence approach? We could do that. With that, I mean, this is my estimate of what's going to be left in the kitty at the end of the year. I'm saying that after this year, because we're going to probably spend it because we yeah. kind of declared where it's going to go next year next with year. some big ticket things. I don't think DR is going to have that much savings out of his budget at the end of this year. I was anticipating more like yeah. 50000 left at the end of the year. This year, has you've had extraordinary expensive increases in the expenses just because of your yeah, we're spending closer to our budget this year than we did in the previous year. Um, I had a... Oh, I know what it was. Um, we don't put revenue in when, if we don't have it yet, or because I see multimodal, we don't have that money back yet. But we it's budgeted in, that we were going to spend it and get it back in 2022. Okay. We've spent it. We haven't got it back yeah. yet. I just wanted, I wanted. But it is in my anticipated revenue that we're going to get to the end of the year. Okay. So might this, some of the state aid change depending on what we do with this money that we're getting from Sturpey's office once BR and I sit down and figure it out? Is it, are we going to get it next year? I don't know that yet. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it's been promised to us, but, and it's a quarter of a million dollars extra, but it hasn't, we haven't figured out what we, I think it's dependent on what we decide to spend it on. For instance, the oil and water separator, that can probably get done next year. But I'm not, I don't know how many of the other things that, that. My guess would be is when you have confirmation of this money and you're, you have eligibility to spend it, like we had the eligibility for the yeah. multimodal. We knew we were getting it when we entered into this. The um, the other thing there, the grade all that we're buying, we knew what the purchase price was. That's why it was in there as, as a budget line um, this year. Uh, what we're, or no, it was a previous year, I think. Sam Grant, 7,100. Yeah, yes, yes. I just, I just didn't know. I didn't want to forget that if we, if but we don't put it in and we shouldn't put it in yet. Well, we don't know whether, like the oil and water separators and a highway expenditure, that's a general fund expenditure. But there's other things in there that are definitely highway. But you don't have numbers to put in the budget and you don't know whether you're getting the no, I'm not, next I, year. I'm just asking, I'm just asking when, do, when would that money be Energy. recognized in, a, in our budget as revenue? Mm -hmm. We get it. Once you get, once you get a confirmation once letter you that you're receiving it for this project. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, we had that's why we were able to put in the multimodal and the Sam Grant stuff because we had confirmation that we were getting that money when we did the budget last year. Okay, we might be close depending on what happens this month. So, we'll so but all we're going to be doing, it's not going to affect your budget because all you're going to be doing is entering expenditure and a balancing revenue just like the chips. Uh, program or the um, the pickup truck that we rolled forward with our money. Yeah, right. So, I just wanted to know when. All right. So, I don't think anything else here that VR should probably address with this. Um, you got it. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You were selected. I'm expecting. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, let's just go quick over the grad stuff because that's important. I know you want to leave, but where are you? We are on page back. No, nope, we're on the TV three, I believe. We're going to the, we're going to the general funds. General fund TV three. That we pay for the highway expenses. Um, so we are in Central Garage. So the first line there that said 15,000, you guys just changed that to 12,500. So there's your first savings. Um, <laughs> first savings. Yeah. So we've got the um, the garage roof. So why don't you give us give them an update on where we stand with what we're looking at with the garage roof? Well, we put it up because they get zero bids on it. The RFP, and uh, never heard anything back from anybody. I do have a quote with uh, a local guy that's willing to do it if we can make it happen somehow. I think we we kept, we roll the money over again, right? We're going to roll the money forward. So hopefully, we can address this in the springtime. Real quick, what's the issue? What are you trying to achieve? It's leaking. The roof's are leaking. you looking to put a whole new twenty yeah. foot roof on it? Well, the center section, the original section, it's original. The metal's all original. Okay, we got several leaks down. Then get up there and seal it every year. So we try to seal it every year, but then you just chase the leaks around. So that's what we're looking. For. And then the next line below that, the 45,000, you asked for an additional 5,000. That covers heat lights. Um, any repairs to the building also covers um, like the water system, um, keep the water clean and all that kind of stuff. Any repairs to the heating systems, those type of things come out of there. <laughs> Yeah, on the wrong page. Oh, sorry. All right. I'm with you now. Okay. Now, that one we had that half of that 40,000 chewed up by it was a arch or something last year. Yeah. And that was National Grid and had that written down here. Also, the cost of, of diesel, because that's what heats that building is the diesel. Yeah. You said you had 40,000 heat. He had spent as of March 30 or as of um, July 31st, they had spent 27,300. Oh, uh -uh. So I had Farrell, which is your propane, at 3117. National Grid was 1680. Buell Fuels was almost 5,500. I mean, there's 13, 14,000 right there just in your first quarter. So is 45,000 enough? That's it. I think it will be, yes. Okay. We also think that you might be able to transfer the propane from the on yeah. tank here and oh, over some okay. of your propane. And thanks for one, one year. year. Yeah. Use that up. Now that we have heat pumps in the town hall, that propane tank is full and we don't have any reason to use the propane for the town hall. Right. And the same with the waste oil. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Don't use waste oil heat in the garage. There's waste oil. There's propane feeders on your left end. And um, and then the fuel oil modine units of the big boiler does the center section as well. So basically, three heat sources there that we use. And they all rely on a little electricity to make it all happen. Yes, they do. Yes. So is that the only? That's the only. Garage? I think so. You you adjusted his salary. Um, yeah, sorry, Dion. He has three thousand dollars in there for contractual miscellaneous stuff, like his dues and those kind of things. That's on page four. Yes, the page middle three. transportation. Yeah, my two hundred. <laughs> no, we're on page four. Um, transportation. Just, we're just going over the rest of the stuff that relates to. Yeah, that, I think that's about it for BR. I mean, there's other little bitty things like his drug testing and stuff like that. And the only thing that might happen after you leave is we just have to see where the budget is. 
the bottom line. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want to move. I don't know if we're going to no. move the preliminary tonight, especially when we have a big fire and ambulance with manly and so we could really we, skew our number. Uh, yeah, we got No, we're not moving this to preliminary. Right? So, in fact, I don't even know. I know we scheduled half an hour before the next board meeting to continue this, but um, and we have another date in October. So we may need to schedule another one depending on where we get to here. Yeah. And I don't want if 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 it's getting too long and too late and you're you're not absorbing, then we need to stop. So I think we can get through quite a bit here pretty yeah, quickly. The next is a pretty low. Let's roll. All right. I keep rolling. So we'll go to TB2. This is the first page of the general fund. So the first line town board, no change. Justices, they're not asking for any increases. In fact, they cut out their, they, they didn't even have equipment this year. So. We are applying for the JCAP grant, though. Uh, supervisor cut out $800 for equipment. She got what she needed. Now we're down to bookkeeper. This one we're going to make some changes to. <laughs> so the first line, the personal service goes to zero. I recommend the software at 30000 unless you think we want to buy it this year and use ARPA. Oh, we can buy it next year and use ARPA funds, too, yeah. but. And then I think the next line that says software training, we should probably change that to the contractual, which would be 50,400. You mean plus 50? Like this here. So up here where it says software, right? keep that, and then get rid of the software training, make that the 50,400 that you were agreeing to for a contractual amount. Gotcha. And then he also said that there is miscellaneous stuff that he's going to be charging you $150 an hour for hourly work. So I just estimated 200 hours. You may want to estimate a lower number. I, I'm trying to figure out. You just got 50. So the total will be 83,400 with what I'm proposing to change that to. Eighty-three four hundred. Yes, eighty-three four hundred. So when you guys talk about ARPA, the reason that's important is because it's a revenue it comes, off. Now. Yeah, it's not doesn't fall into the budget. Yeah. Well, if we do. We put it into the budget as a revenue off. Oh, you do. Okay. But right. ARPA is supposed to be used specific projects. You haven't done that yet, correct? No. So you want to make the screen bigger? Yeah, I can't see it. I'm sorry. So you only are changing that way. It's, it's a way to post. Yeah. No, and at this point, you've only changed one side of the income statement, right? Right. The expense yeah. side. I'm changing the expense side now, and then we'll eventually get to the. I guess I'm questioning what do, the three thousand for the two hundred hours. Mm -hmm. Like that's just like a placeholder because we have no clue, or like well, that's, that's a big, isn't it? <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can get multi to stay on there. Um, are we? I mean, two hundred hours is like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, but there's also probably going to be some other miscellaneous yeah. training items. Not on your list. So where did the? Why did you get rid? Oh, you added that. I got rid of the salary. Because you're not paying him a salary, he's not going to be an employee, correct? It's a contractual he's agreement. He's not going to be an employee, but what's that 5,500? You got so rid 5,500 was in there for the software training portion. So why did we take that out? Because I moved it into the hourly services area. Oh, 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 okay. And cut it back some, thinking that, you know, I was, I think we'd est I'd estimate a little higher for Marty than I'm expecting gotcha. for somebody that's well versed in this, as you said. Ian. Okay. So the hourly services would be his his at $150 for 200 hours, but it also might be for anything with software for them coming out and training them. And that's at $135 an hour, I think. Yeah. Well, we might have 
we might be able to figure all of this out a little bit clearer, more clearly. Right, everything. you might be some savings on the software as well. Yeah. Wow. Those look like pretty, pretty actual yeah. numbers. Yeah. There. And then hopefully the software goes away and you just have the maintenance charge the following year at around five thousand dollars. Right. But you'll know better once you get a contract for that. Independent auditor that was in there from when we did an audit one year. I don't think you're planning on doing a full audit next year. No, do we why do we keep that in then if we don't need that? Because two years ago you said, well, I can get rid of the line if you want. Two years ago we said, well, we might want to keep that in there in the future. Oh, all right. But is that in case we get audited? No, that's in case you want to hire an independent auditor to come and review gotcha. all your books. We did that a while ago. It wasn't like thirty thousand dollars, and it, it wasn't really an audit. It was more of a telling us what we're followed what we were doing and put it in writing. Yeah, it was called an accounting review at the time. Okay. I definitely remember. Yeah, it wasn't very helpful. Mm -hmm. All right, next item is tax collection. No change there. Um, I think 72 is all right. It just depends on sometimes postage and stuff. It's a little bit. Um, so this next one, the, the budget, uh, that one's going to go to zero now because everything's going to be included in your package up above. There's That part of my salary used to come out of the budget line. Part of it came out of the bookkeeper line. Making now that will look a little better. Next line, assessor, you change the salary to 34,300. And he asked for a slight increase in his contractual. Um, oh yeah, what was it, 34 what? 34,300, you told me. Town clerk, um, the only change was she asked for more money to go to training. That's why there's an extra uh, $400 in there. That's the only change. Of, is it 1000 Is the training in Syracuse this year? I have no idea. I'm not a town clerk. No, you <laughs> it's, in, it's in Syracuse, so there's, we don't, I don't think we need that. Mm -hmm. Parking yeah. home, number five. I don't know, page nine has her explanation. Yeah, no, I think Anne. We looked it up. The the clerks conference is in Syracuse. So gas and tolls and it's a Brown Plaza Albany. No, but that's for that's last year. This year, this coming year, it's in Syracuse. This was the cost for the 2022. And I don't think Nikki knew that it was going to be in Syracuse when she did this. Probably she thought it was going to be in Albany. Again. She had 300 miles, so she just assumed it was the same. Or... I think she wants to make it known she wants to go to training. She can go to training. Yeah. I just don't know. I mean, I need a thousand. Well, are you going to you going to let her stay in the hotel? Because... In Syracuse? Yes. We're going to have a travel policy that if you're within a certain radius, you, you travel back and forth. And I think Syracuse would be in that radius. Yeah. So you want to go back to the 4,800? Well, I mean, or, or even lower. Or, well, I mean, I, I mean, is there training she needs to she needs she needs to get? It's good. Yeah, this is good. This it's is annual hopefully. conference. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, but if it's in Syracuse, we don't. No, need no, the budget I'm, I'm with for you. Lodging and I think training is so important. I do too. Okay. I would just reduce it a little bit. From I mean, we don't. How do we go it. back to the four thousand eight hundred then? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Forty eight, right? Forty eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. And sure. are we going to leave the 800 for equipment? I asked her what she needed it for. Um, and she said she just wanted it in case there was a need. So I don't. Yeah, like she bought the stand up desk thing there this year out of there. And it wasn't in something else earlier in the year. $800 isn't much. No, I'm just saying that if you ask me, I don't know what it's for. But. But it's not for a computer. I don't know. I wrote computer in. I expect somebody oh. that wants to change it to write in what they want. That's why there's. I think it's there. it's just meant to be like an like a. Okay. No, nope, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> so we're putting exactly. 
All right, so um, I didn't get a response back from the attorney, so I'm assuming his $36,000 a year retainer is okay. And I put the 3,000 in there for labor because I suspect we'll be gonna, we probably won't finish the Teamsters plan this year. Maybe we will, but we might. So that, that's also any outside stuff. So if you have an attorney that has to come and do something that he's not on his retainer, Play up some money in there, but I'll ask. I, I don't want to cut it out. You can. Well, I I just I don't know. Let me talk to Robert about it because um, I'll see where things are at. Okay. Um, engineer, I cut that back a little bit. I have nothing to go on this year because we've all received almost no billing this year. You gotta love the guy. I think I scared him. <laughs> but what's it realistic? They were engineers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of cost, but it's still gonna be involved. I, no. I know the liaison stepped up here, but he's not gonna be managing the drainage project. He'll probably be on the WEP is so. managing it. WEP is? Yeah. And we'll talk okay. about that at the pre-construction meeting, at which John is invited to, and which I can okay. hear to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, but in all seriousness, it's probably not unreasonable to have it go down relative to what our yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, next year, although you were just saying you're going to try to get the oil and water separator in, is your grant going to cover the engineering on that? Because the last time we did it, the engineering was more that, than the project. Done. Well, I don't think that one's going to fly yeah, anymore yeah. from all those years. No, no, did, it? Did, just did, something for us. did he bill us for it? Probably, probably not yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like I said, I have nothing to go on. We've had almost no engineering expenses this year. Well, and I don't anticipate having a lot next year either. I mean, I don't see where we're having a big project um, other than we'll get the- Yeah, we spent about $7,000 halfway through the year. Yeah, we haven't had a lot. We haven't had a lot. Maybe that's a little too high, I don't know. Without any data and no billing to date, I don't really have much to go on. <laughs> Yeah. I know you're using him, though. Yeah, I call him. I text him. He'll be involved. He comes to some meetings, and we have no yeah. build for him. Is it, a, is it prudent to change the budget based on the fact he has cruddy billing record? Billing? Well, that's why I didn't reduce it very much. I mean, if I reduced, I would have put it at 15000 if I based yeah. it on it halfway through the year. Right, right, right. Well, he has, I mean, I think that was pretty so 25 yeah. to 20. Seems I, we did at 20. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's reasonable. Yeah. Maybe the engineering ladies aren't going to talk to him and find out what's going on with his billing practices. <laughs> Just throwing it out. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> okay. So I did get Veronica's um, estimate for the website. She liked that number to be 6,600. Oh, yeah. Top of page TV3. Okay. Okay. Next item is building. So sounds like most everything you want to do to this, this is this building. Everything else you want to do is going to be covered under this Sturpy grant, probably, right? Although we've never finished the windows here. We haven't finished the windows. Um, John. Shaheen is working on that. So um, that was supposed to be submitted against that county grant this year. So that's why we didn't really put it in there. We took it out because it was supposed to be covered by the county grant. I don't know whether we're going to lose that grant before we get the work done, though. No, they're not. We're not going to lose that grant. Oh. Is there any other equipment that's needed? I know we're waiting on the new lease on the copier. Nobody knows of any file cabinets or printers or anything that aren't. The only thing we've been talking about doing, and we're going to include it in our JCAP grant, is replacing the absolutely ineffective door front doors that let in so much. They're they're so energy inefficient. Just, we get these new heat pumps, and they're just poor air is just pouring through them. So we'd like to replace both sets of doors. Um, so I, we're just, we're going to get a price on that. Hopefully that'll be through JCAP though. So I don't know if you want to. Um, the Justice Court has grant 
thirty thousand dollars. You can apply for a thirty thousand dollar grant, okay. up to thirty thousand. Okay. You were going to get BR to get an estimate, but he but said that that he doesn't think that company does that kind oh. of work. Exactly. But you were going to get me the contact info so I can call them and at least ask. Is that the door you had problem to lock the in. Uh, yeah, but look at the doors for how they yeah. come together. They don't come together. There's air coming through the front set and then the in interior set. And in the winter time, that's just it's not good. You can hear it whistling through there. <laughs> so we're going to try and work on that and get a new lock system with either go with a keypad or swipe card or something that. Because the key thing is really, yeah, uh, really go call BR access. so we can come over and put a chain around it. Yeah, the, a card access system would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys look at BR Johnson at all. We use those at work. Those guys at work a lot. They do a great job. Um, just we, are. <laughs> we had a key access system, remember? That didn't work too good. No. <laughs> we did? Don't you remember those little key fobs you used to have to keep track oh, of? No. Oh, no. Those are terrible. Yeah, they're probably. But these are cards, like a yeah. credit card. It was key but you can also but... do just a code. Yeah. You can do a key code, you know, yeah, you a can key track, code. You can you track it. What's nice, you can track who's coming and going. That, and you can also um, change it. You know, yeah. you change the code if somebody leaves and to or just change the change their key file or, or that yeah exactly yeah yeah anyway that's so, there. so I don't know should we put more than two thousand in there for miscellaneous building equipment we're gonna need tons of paper and no that's that right? that's not part of that one that's no. not equipment this is like, equipment is something that has life um yeah. Do we well, have wireless here? It's yes. functional? Yes. Secure? Yes. It's, yeah. That's the guest pet. That's the guest one, but we also have it. You should have it on your uh, Oh, I do. Yes. Um <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the wireless on my phone. Uh, um, wait a minute. So we're talking about equipment. So file cabinets, printers, um, but the, the windows, the windows, the windows and the doors, the windows and doors, yeah. the windows are covered by a grant currently. The what? county grant. Yeah, so. and BR has talked about wanting to replace his what he calls man doors. He didn't know there was such a thing as a man door, but there is. Uh, garage. Yeah, no. and his windows too. Not a woman. He didn't door. ask for anything in the no. budget this year. I think he's going to wait till his roof is done, maybe. <laughs> well. No, we actually talked about using maybe our funds for that in the future. Okay. So the question is how much money for equipment? Yeah. I mean, if nobody knows of anything other than these things that we're going to try to get covered by grants, um, we just probably not worth putting doors. a lot of money in there. Yeah. All right. Um, the contractual. I did give you a summary of what my guess, best guess was on that. It's in this other packet where that 40,000 came up with. What page is that? That is 1620 is page 10. No, page 10 in the other budget requests. This is one of the things I do for you as I try to estimate what your expenses are. So our electric has been Picked up the last two months because once that thing came online, our electric went up. The heat pump. The heat yeah. 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 Wait till winter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You'll really have a hard time. So, what I did was I took roughly, we had 40, 4,100 in electric, 5,000 in propane. I consolidated those both and put 9,000 in electric because I don't think anything in life is free. I suspect that the cost offset is probably going to be. Um, at least it's clean energy. energy. Yes. We're not, we're not burning propane. Yeah, but we don't know what where the power's coming from. Well, I'm <laughs> still happy that we're getting rid of propane. So um, the next line there, the telephone and internet, I reduced that down based on um, the fact that we've changed out the way we're doing business. Um, we're not so time warner dependent anymore. The alarm, I, I figure they're probably going to keep increasing that alarm, monthly alarm charge. On a copier lease, I think the new one was pretty similar to this one, as I recall. Mm -hmm. It was within dollars, so I yeah. left that one alone. Postage meter, I left that one alone. 
uh, folding machine, water. I have bumped that up a little bit because the water is, we seem to be using more of it. And then miscellaneous supplies, I bumped that up a little bit. I put in 5,000 in for repairs because I know we talked about possibly doing some painting someplace. Another painting project, Renee, hadn't you said something about that? The only painting that I, you mean for the town hall? Yeah. I think the only thing that is left to be done would be the clerk's office. And, okay. but, but I don't know how they, she needs to have a, like be willing to have some, it'd be yes. displacement. And so I, but no, I don't think okay. painting somewhere else. You know, What's the old side look like? like that? We just did that a few years ago, didn't we? Like, yeah. yeah. Pop that in. The right south side again. Yeah. And then I also bumped up your cleaning service based on what their billings have been, but Renee was going to look into... Well, I think you can bump that back down because um, I think it's going to end up being... I don't think we need 5,000 in repairs. Okay. But bring it down to what? Uh, the last when we did... When he, when my office got painted and the code's office got painted, it was under a thousand. So I have a feeling if Nikki's office gets painted, I don't know, maybe fifteen hundred at the most. I don't. Do we bring the five thousand down to two thousand then? Because that also it's it's also if you want to repair if there's a problem with the carpet, if something else gets damaged and we've got to fix it, if a window's broken, that kind of stuff. We got to have some money in there for that. Well, we've. Yeah. So, okay. I, I wouldn't take it to zero. No, I'm <laughs> no. Saying, I was thinking fifteen hundred, but you're saying two thousand. Okay, I'm not going. Yeah. Okay. But then. Um, and then landscaping. We've been spending a lot more money on landscaping, but I don't know whether we're going to. That's that because of up at um, the Hamlet. Mostly, we've been we did the Hamlet, and we also did some work out here too. We need to do something about the front area. The oxen looks so good. Well, that was part of what and the rest, this year. And the crumbling column here and the, where the tree came down it was taken down. So we do need money in there. I don't know if we need that much, but. Now we're all volunteered. Well, okay. To do the labor and all of that. The other so thing. he is the landscaping liaison. Yes. <laughs> we will do that. <laughs> Ralph Cagnetti. Oh, oh, Judge. Judge Cagnetti. He is going to be out here working, he said. Yes, he <laughs> um, I also think it would be really nice. I don't know if we could do this, but everybody in this town has unbelievably beautiful gardens. And there's so many perennials that I, I think if we put a call out to, to need um, some plants for the front, we could probably get people to donate. Yeah, I could donate. I mean, I know people have. But but that's just a thought. We need somebody's still going to do the work, though. Yeah. All right. How about the cleaning service? You had said you have a number in mind for well, that. Um, you're going to make me do math. You no, give me a weekly. Give me some number. And I'm hundred both highway and uh, one hundred and fifty a week. It was one hundred and fifty a week for both highway and the and so a hundred for this uh, building. Or and fifty for there. Well, or are you talking about the current contract, or you have a new one? No, there's the proposal we got. It's a new. It's a. It's another option. Is um, it would only be six hundred. It would be six hundred a month. So that's yes. about the same. Yeah, no. fifty two hundred a year. If, okay, well, that's less. For, well, if you break it up, I don't know which way you're breaking no. it up. Yeah. Well, he at most they need. It, it works out to be, I think what we decided was if, if it was. I'm no, just, I don't think you broke it up, though. So. No, I didn't. Did how much it would cost here and how much it cost down there. No, no he just said 100 said it's for, for both. For so, both. But BR only wants, thinks he needs it once every two weeks. Why? You guys are dirty. No. I've heard. Okay. <laughs> Well, why don't we leave the seven thousand in there? So that's seventy eight hundred dollars a year, and whatever over the seven thousand gets charged to BR. I mean, your bill—you need to have billing that tells you how much is for each area. 
Well, I mean, that's not going to be hard to do. I just don't think it's going to add up to it. Well, 150 times 52 weeks is 7,800. I know, but I'm saying he doesn't want it every week. So it would be backed off. I did the numbers there in my office, though. It would be backed off to, I think it would be like 300 to the town each week. And it, 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 th no, never mind. My brain is not going to let me compute it without the numbers in my office. So I'm just leave it for it at yeah. 7,000. Okay, but I just think that's high. So we're going to take, so on the budget back on page three, TB3. 1620 is going to go from 40,000 to 37,000. Okay, we already talked about the highway building, and we're down to IT services. So she said that under the contractual, we need to add some more money because remember we had all of those bills for the website, um, the emails and all those stuff. We didn't budget for that this year. So the last item there, the $3,000 needs to go to 4,600. What, 1680.4, the contractual? Yeah, the last contractual there says contract. The hourly, I think, needs to stay at about 3,000. You just had a bill tonight for part of the year, and it was, what, just under $2,000? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I think the 3,000 for the hourly services. And then we do have 2,000 in there for equipment upgrades to the system. So I don't know if we still need that or not. I don't think so, but I can ask. Um, okay, newsletter. Um, $2,000 still seem like enough? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the contractual there is all of the paper and miscellaneous small office supplies. It doesn't go to a specific department. It's also where the, the um, color copies and stuff and the extra copies from the copy machine go. Any of the edge put in the newspaper, all those type of things go into that account. And so I bumped it up just slightly by $500. Our insurance. I think we're still going to be pretty good. I haven't heard anything about insurance rates jumping way up, but nobody's going to be a quote because we don't renew until next April. So, uh, so far this year, we're at about 36,000. So I think the 38 is still safe. Um, association dues, no change. Judgment and claims. I always keep something in there. As you recall, we had the $5,000 claim on the assessment this year. Um, this is if we lose an assessment case, basically. $5,000 claim on the assessment this year? Or last year, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, all right, all right. That's where that 5000 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I always try to keep a little placeholder yeah. in there. Um, the $2,000 is for training and workshops outside of, like, the departmental one. So, like, if a bunch of people go to the planning and planning board training, or if town board members that don't have a budget for contractual want to go to training, that's where that comes out of. And then the contingent, I left that at 25,000. Um, we did have to hit it for 10,000 this year to cover some funds until we're waiting for the grant money to come in. So once the grant money comes in, we can put it back in. But that's something you, that's your decision, what you want in there for your rainy day emergency stuff. Uh, next line, police and constable. Renee recommended keeping that about the same. I think it looks like it's pretty fair for this year. Um, Hamlet sign. We're going to do one more replacement sign next year, I think you said, right? Um, What's for the sign here? Yeah, I was or for this sign. Oh, right. yeah. Well, either way, it's, a, it's like a permanent sign. You want me to get rid of the word Hamlet in there? Yeah, I'm going to. Or did I already? I already got rid of it, I think, didn't I? No, it's so, in there. So town hall sign is what you'd like that to say? 
It doesn't matter. Yeah. How are you guys doing? That all fits. I noticed there wasn't, there was control of dogs, but not control of goats. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to goat herder. I mean, I know it's not, all right, I nominate you the liaison the of goats. goat herding. The, goats. <laughs> the livestock, because we had pigs on oh, 92, wait, right? Wait, this is going to be like, hang on. If, this is going to be like, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, what's that <laughs> Montana show? Yellowstone. I want to be the livestock agent. Oh, right oh, no. I want to be the livestock agent. Yeah. You're going to These are going to be full, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dog. We haven't heard anything about from SPCI. Nobody has. So I All think right. I left it alone. Uh, next item is assessment report of assessment review. Their stipends come out of there. They, although I didn't get anything from them when I was here the day they were. Um, they eventually they turned them in. <laughs> no, they they all think they should have a raise. Okay. <laughs> but they but didn't they put can. anything in for it. But I just thought that was. I said, you guys. I'm not sure I even send anything to them. <laughs> I said, you can use it for four hours once a, week, once a year. <laughs> um, I said, sometimes do it afraid. Next time with drug testing, uh, no change there. We're. It's very strange. They'll they'll hit us for like two or three years all at once. So um, next line, you change the salary for highway superintendent to seventy thousand seven fifty. He asked for an increase in the contractual, which is like his um, dues, training, miscellaneous office supplies. We charge off there. Street lighting. We're finally seeing the savings from going to LED. Yay! I think that's a good number, the nine thousand two hundred. Unless we add street lights, then we're so in trouble. So in 2021, that's when we paid. Oh, that's what we pay. All right. That's remember we paid yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, big yeah. chunk for getting them all installed. Yeah. Gotcha. So and last year I didn't have enough data to really know what to go on. So I I think this nine two is pretty good. Next item, uh, economic assistance. First one there was the purchase of all the little tchotchkes for the farm days and. We never got any money back from that. We know where those are. They're here. Okay. <laughs> what are they? They're not tchotchkes. They're, they're um, coffee mugs. Um, and they're hats. like traveling things, uh, coffee buildings and things. But they have a ton of coffee on them. Yep. Oh, nice. Program for the aging. Oh, Schwag. Schwag. <laughs> All that good stuff. I didn't get anything back from them, so I didn't increase their budget for their senior trips. Okay. Uh, program for the youth. We talked about the salaries. Um, she didn't increase the contractual. Not positive is going to be quite enough, but uh, hard to say. Is that just for the pool? That so the eight thousand four twenty includes the pool plus the reimbursements for the training and stuff to the guards and stuff, which we had a lot of them this year. Yeah. So we probably won't have as many next year. Okay. So I think we'll be all right. And we were under on payroll, so I'm just going to have to move some money down. Uh, historian, no change. Um, historical properties. They want a tree trim. From the tree trimming, we're going to change that to. Outhouse roof. The, the outhouse, what did you guys do to the outhouse? They were very upset about it. Put a tarp over it. You put a tarp over it. They don't like that tarp. They want a roof on it, and they thought a thousand dollars would be better. Better than having it cave in. Before. Yep, we're down near the bottom. So are we comfortable putting in the Thousand dollars for a roof on an outhouse. I think that's hot. I do too, but <laughs> what? who's going to do it though? I mean, the shingles aren't much. It's the getting somebody to come do it. Well, the thing is, what it's like the outhouse in the A's. And that wood's in there too, right? Your wood is over there. That wood up. That's over here. That's on the good cover. Uh, I don't think we need a thousand dollars for the. the I know, but that's what they told me. Can we just move it to five hundred, please? <laughs> it's just <laughs> sorry. I don't care what they told me. 
Well, I have to put in what people. Have. I know. I'm just saying. I think 500 is plenty for the outhouse roofs. I think so too. I think any other things we could Right. Right. And then the celebrations. I left that at 500. Unless you guys are planning an extra party next year. No. No. Party. Yeah. Okay, next item is code enforcement officer. You change that number to 36600. And we decided to keep the deputy the same. The ZBA clerk we already talked about. Codes update. Um, we don't need that. I think that can go. Wasn't that for when we updated the codes last year? It was, we wanted to add in like four or five local laws. Yeah, I think we're all set. So we won't have any more local laws next year to add in? I think everything was updated. And whether we have them or not, we're not going to add them in okay. next year, unless it was some major local law. Okay. We're probably going to have the no parking on right. Canterbury local law oh, yeah. added to the schedule. Do we need to get signs? Eight. We don't know that yet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's e codes. Yeah. yeah. So the e code is the the we pay every year, so it's yeah. can access it online, and those get automatically updated. So that's twenty five hundred baht. Yeah. Twenty five hundred baht. And then the contractual includes the stipend for all of the board members, and um, any anything they need there. Any also includes the mileage for the code and deputy code officer. When they turn in their mileage sheets. So that's what probably the biggest portion of it is. Under planning, um, salaries for the clerk, and then the contractual, most of that is a stipend for the members, but also sometimes we have some other costs that are related to planning, and I try to, try to charge them off to there. Environmental control is. We keep saying we're going to do tower inspections, so that's why we had the thousand dollars seed money for that. Leave it there. <laughs> You're not brave. <laughs> Come on, be brave. Take it out. Oh. <laughs> well, I have only one vote. I didn't hear anybody else. So maybe they want. Do you want to take it out? No. <laughs> no, I. Sam says no. You. I like it when he comes up and yells at you guys. Uh, I'd send him a copy of the budget with a zero in yeah, there I just know. to get him and going. Then, then he really has to deal with it. <laughs> Trouble maker. The 1500 is for um, uh, the stipends for the ECC board. Yeah. Sats. All right. Big jump there. Yeah. Um, does affect our tax cap. And that is a. The SOTS contract ends next October, well, September. September. I don't know. It's August 31, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like August or the very first couple of days in September. And so we're going to go out and rebid it at the beginning of the year next year, probably in March or April. Um, so I estimated for next year when I did the SOTS budget, I estimated based on their fuel service surcharges, took an average for that for the first nine months. And then I estimated a 20% increase in our service charges or our cost for the last few months. And that's where I came up. We're going to jump from 325 to 350 per unit. But is it likely if that if the gas prices go down that they won't we won't have to pay that surcharge? Eventually, we if the gas gets back to what it was prior, once it goes down by 15%, we can ask to. Take it back down. It's getting down. Would you say twenty percent down already? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I know it's well, that's why. Well, you and then you have to look at the tipping costs that they're paying. The tipping costs are also going up next year. As we so once our contract expires. Yeah. Uh, so the engineering, uh, they came in at like fourteen to fifteen thousand this year. So I figured I better keep the sixteen in there, and the twenty one hundred is for the mowing of the landfill. We keep uh, $300 in there for uh, in case we have to mow some um, violators of the mowing law. We have one. We so haven't what mowed it this year, though. What? What's the violator? What are they doing? People don't mow their lawns. We cite them, and then we hire somebody to come mow it. And then we put it on their tax bill, and we get reimbursed the following year. There is somebody. There is a... Resident. But I, I, it's easier than coming to you and saying, hey, we need to do a budget transfer to cover this. 
Yeah, you might want to explain how we mow the landfill. That's contracted. Somebody local contractor goes in four times a year and mows it over. <clears throat> Cemeteries is for just miscellaneous repairs to the small mower that we use in the cemeteries. Uh, water services. So we pay $2,500 lease fee for the spring. And then we have the. Um, and then we have the water services for the people that are affected by the salt um, that we pay for their filters being replaced or something. I don't know what it is. It's the people in the area or in our team. Yeah. Uh, state retirement, slight decrease there. I will take a look. I'm going to put a question mark next to the Social Security because you made some salary changes pretty extensive here. So I'm going to have to go and recalc Social Security. Uh, workers comp, I don't, there's no change. I looked at that. We're good through like most of next year, I think. And then we'll get yeah. a new quote on that. And the hospital medic, of course, jumped up because we had somebody come on this year that we didn't have in the previous year. So we, we also had to add some money into our budget there as well. And so I'm going to give you the new bottom line here. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know why. Okay. So the new bottom line is 2019202 Okay. I'm saying we made some cuts, but we also made a pretty big ad in the uh, accounting line there. Yeah, so. you know, not down. Yeah. Any kind of fun? We do that. Yeah. It's the accountant yeah. position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's actually, it was considered how much money that didn't. Not bad. Less than 9,000. Right. As well. Considering what? The, well, yeah. So you did make some cuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. And the other, I mean, the big, to me, the big rock is we got to get this manly aspired EMS thing figured out as well as sell by all powers. Yep. Um, because I, I mean, what were they going to do about the spectrum? You may explain it, but it's not going to get reduced because it's already done. Deal. It's already been approved, correct? No, they can make budget changes within their budgets if, if they decided not to fund. 100,000 of their budget, they can't charge us for it if they're not funding right, that right, portion right. of their yes. budget. Yeah. yeah, we just have to understand it. That's, yeah, I agree, but I think that's a, that's a whole, right? Yeah. I mean, that's okay. Are we done with the revenues? Do you want to keep going or do we? Is this a quick stopping point? Are you guys tired or something? I have a lot to follow up on too on this, you know, in this week. So, um, we need to get together again. Yeah. One. Well, we only, I, I don't even know if we want to use that half hour. I this before the the town board meeting because it's just not going to be enough time to finish this. Hold. Yeah, I guess it depends on what we find out. Did we tell Tim to have the local law cap override ready for us already? I'm going to talk to him about it tomorrow on the monthly check. It's on. It's on my list for the agenda for next week. Okay, because we should let's see, introduce the law. So he has to have the law to you introduce it. Then we have to schedule a public hearing for that. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about possible dates for that too? Um, hearing. On a local law? Yeah, or do you want to do that the same night that you do your budget public hearing? Well, we have that date at the end of October, the Monday, last Monday in October, I think. With as many things as we have questions on this budget, I don't think we can wait that long to do well, I was, other work. I, I was going to say I'm not comfortable with that either because I think that there's too much we need to resolve. How much time to wait for the meeting? Um, I mean, if we had the meeting, is there, is there any time after? I mean, that's my yeah, theory. yeah. Um, it might be easier to say, okay, let's do it an hour after than it is to do a half hour before. Yeah, we have that. We have a that public hearing on that one local law on the the signage. I mean, the no parking, mm -hmm. adding the that one road to the no to the no parking schedule. 
Um, there's not there's not a lot on. I had like six or seven items, and it's. Well, we can definitely open up the workshop while we're signing vouchers before the meeting at six six o'clock. Right, is what I wish I would have done. Generally, and then so we is that it? We do the revenues, and then we're. And then we can, yeah, but there's not a whole lot to the at. special district, there, right? We have to see where we're at. I mean, right now, the, the tax rate is not where we want to be. Get to that. It's probably going to be too big on this screen. That's okay. We don't need to highlight it. But. <laughs> where is that? Is this some? Seven. So right now, we're at seven cents per thousand increase. It looks, okay. I got to make this. Small how do we that go down? <laughs> we still got a ways to go, though. Is that with? So with the changes, so well, with the changes we've made, the general and highway is seven cents per thousand mm -hmm. increase. We have a seven cent decrease in general fund, fourteen cent increase in the highway fund. And a lot of that's due to the fact that we're rolling some funds forward and we had a bigger surplus. Again, just like we did on the highway. We had, remember, we got the big, huge bonus at the end of last year from mortgage tax. Oh, yeah. What if we, I'm just throwing this out there. What does $30,000 out of the budget? Forget about why I'm asking or where it's coming from. You can figure it out. Um, what does that do to the tax rate? Took four cents off. I think we should use ARPA for our software. We got to get that. It is a perfect use for ARPA. Or yeah. use it this year, buy it this year, and use ARPA funds this year too. That's that, true. And then not have that expense next year. Yeah. Yeah. That's ARPA that's software. Actually, that's how it makes even more sense. Well, that's, yeah. that's one thing for us all to be thinking, you know, that like, well, that's one of the things when you talk to the software, when we decide what software, we're going to talk to the software people and see when they have to get paid for it. I just think we need, we everybody should be looking at this budget with an eye toward, um, because it doesn't just have to be taking something out of an expenditure. It could be we need to have some more revenue. So, right. You know what I mean? So if we had, That's so, what we're talking about. Yeah. so if we, I mean, I don't, I don't want to just keep whittling away at the ARPA funds. When you, but I think there are certain things that just fit so perfectly into what ARPA is meant to do, the stimulus money is meant for. And that's it should a, be a one shot deal, too. You don't want to offset your, yeah. your propane bills for getting a building with your ARPA funds. You want to, but I mean, this is the furnace or something. Reason. You want, yeah. We're that's, making a substantial no, right. financial yeah. change. I, so, I mean, that's something. So, we'll keep that in mind. If that knocks four cents off, that's good. Then we're down to a three cent. And what's our before allowed for? Basically, anything programmatic that that serves the public now. So anything except for like offsetting loans or yes. bonds or retirement plans. Well, that's what that 43K is for, for that pickup, right? Mm -hmm. That's ARPA money that we had budgeted for this year, but he can't even get, they won't, the truck isn't even, can't even order right. until well, next year. So we've got a sweeper and a plot. Right, right, things. right. There's some pretty so, big perks. So think about it. Yeah. I'm just saying, think about like how that, and, and what I want to do is what you and I get together with a financial person I don't know. Oh, Just, the, here's he's another the financial liaison. Here's, here's the article liaison. Yes. <laughs> yes. I did that. Yes. <laughs> What's your cash to the balance sheet? What? Yeah. And now, so that could that be put into like a, a six month treasury or something like that? Or not? It's already that, put into a, the highest interest money. Okay. Okay. This is kind of like a different ways to risk creativity. Yeah. And it's, it's into NI class, which is our, it's a, Combined a combined group money of market. municipalities, yeah. and it's money market treasury based. Yeah. say just kind of the rates are done. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, our, we've already hit all of our budget lines on on our interest, and in yeah. way that's why all the interest yeah. amounts I've been adding have increased. Uh -huh. Here. Okay. So we still need to um, move the bills. Yeah. Do we want to look at any possible dates for future meetings or not? Sure. 
<laughs> and get your thinking caps on. So right now I have October 6th, the Thursday, I had a cancellation. They moved a little quicker on their budget than you did. Who was that? Spafford. <laughs> they had two meetings scheduled and they canceled their second. That'd be a good day wow. for me. Well, they got a lot. Thursday? Thursday the 6th. Do we have anything going on in this building on Thursdays? Um, not that Thursday. ECC meets the third Thursday. So. After our meeting on Monday? Yes, it'd be the Thursday following our meeting. Um, but is that too soon to get all the data that we need to get? If all of a sudden it's not raining, I'm going to get it. Okay. And then the next dates that I don't have meetings are Wednesday the 19th and Thursday the 20th. That gives you an idea of what my life looks like. Okay. So 19th or 20th? So the 19th yeah. is only five days before the scheduled 24th. Yeah. The budget workshop we had on the 24th. So I almost think we got to go Six. with the 6th. Okay. Sure. 6th is good. And it's a great day. What time? If you guys are going to be here at six, yeah, I was here five. And then I well, it didn't work too well, but you weren't here at six. All right, so who's making the motion to set a workshop on October 6th? I'll, I'll make a motion we set a workshop for the budget on October 6th, starting at six o'clock p.m. Just to clarify, Renee, I don't want you coming at 6 a.m. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Did you say aye? Kind of. mm, you That's really did. Do we want to put a, a time on this? Motion carried. So somebody you know needs to let Nikki no. know. <laughs> 10, 6, because <laughs> we need a legal notice. Yeah, we need to get the notice. I will up. see her tomorrow afternoon, so I'll tell her. 10, okay. 6 at 6 p.m.? Yep. I think I left the notepad at home that has the. Uh, are you ready to go? Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the payment of bills. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carried. I make a motion to adjourn. I second. All those Aye. in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah. Motion carried. Thanks for trick or treating. Thanks for trick or treating. Thanks for Weather breaks are getting a little buzzy.